Hello YouTube, how is everybody doing? It has been a hot minute since I've been here and definitely have missed you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I am going to come at you with another review video. It is going to be for a handbag. I love handbags, you guys know that. And the one that I have here to share with you is Da -da 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 -da, this one right here. It is the Baby Barcelona bag from Lauren Mnuchin and I have been loving, loving this bag so, so much. For those who may not know, Lauren Mnuchin is a brand that crafts sustainable pieces. Their work focuses on sourcing natural materials to make intricate knitwears and accessories. As you can see, the bag right here is very clean line. It has a very minimal aesthetic. It just instantly pulls a look together, make it look so chic so easy to blend in with all different type of modern looks so this bag is a mid-size proportion bag with structure forms i love how structured it is because that means that it's going to hold its shape for many many years to come before we go in any further let's go into the dimension of this bag so this bag at the widest part measures around 15.6 inches in width and then the length is around 10.6 inches. I believe at the widest part at the bottom also for the depth it is around 4.5 inches and the handle drop for this is around 2 inches handle drop. That is basically the aesthetic of it on the outside and very minimal on the inside as well. A little bit more specs and details about this bag. It is of course in the color dark brown and it is made out of this really nice soft leather cowhide leather it's coated and it has two cutout handles right here at the curve opening for you to hold up the bag it is unlined on the inside as you can see very plain on the inside just a big open space and it has one pocket on the side right here see if I can zoom it in for you to see the back is dark so it's really really hard to see it but it has a slip pocket right here and then on the uh, slip pocket it has imprinted Lauren Mnuchin right there the brand it just has a big open space like I said for you to put whatever you want on the inside it's unlined on the inside the lining does have this coating so it's not super super rough to the touch the bottom it just has this rounder taper silhouette as you can see it's like big in the middle part and then it tapers on the side as well as the body itself it's the middle portion is a little bit bigger and then it tapers on the side as it goes up into this taper silhouette as you can see very sleek on the side and one of the things that I really like about this bag is the craftsmanship is impeccable with the really nice hand stitch on the two seams right here I don't know if I can zoom it in for you to see I think the hand stitching is impeccable look at that so lovely in the back or this could be the front you could use it either way because it's very clean and it doesn't look any different front or back but it has the stitching for the inner pockets right there that is basically it for the aesthetic of this bag very easy going very simple but very modern and sleek at the same time which is the reason why i fell in love with it the handle portion right here the holes that you hold up the bag is coated as well it's very smooth and the piece of leather on the top right here is very soft and pliable i think it's because i've been holding it so much and using it more at that area so now it has softened up and it has become very comfortable to hold okay so I have a few items here that I'm going to put into the bag these are the items that I usually carry around with me every day just so you can see how much space the bag has the first item I have is just this 3c pouch it's a mess pouch it has my keys my lip gloss and other bits and pieces that I need in here for daily use let's put my compact in here as well and I'm going to put my keys into the bag. And I'll throw in my phone, of course. Can't go anywhere without it. I'll throw in my sunglasses as well. But I'm going to stick that on to the side right here of the bag. 
and a little snack the bell vita i love this it's such a good snack i'm addicted to them <laughs> they're so expensive though anyway so that is everything that i have right now in there and it's already feeling a little heavy i have to say this is what it looks like on the inside just all jumbled around as you can see so it has some space left for other things those are the things i usually have with me and it fits really nicely in this bag doesn't compromise the shape of the bag or anything like that at all and it just looks like this getting quite heavy though let's go into the pros and the cons of having this bag so for the pro, I think the quality and craftsmanship of this bag is impeccable. It is so beautiful. As you can see, it just have very simple, minimal aesthetic and it has two pieces of leather basically stacked together and then sewn at the base and stitched together at the seam to form this bag. Very, very clean and modern and go with so, so many things that are in my closet at the moment. The other pro for this bag that I found is that even though it is a mid-size bag, it still is pretty lightweight for its size. It is a top handle bag. If it is super, super heavy, it is going to make it so uncomfortable to carry. So I appreciate the fact that it's pretty lightweight for its size. The cons for this bag is that it is 100% leather even though it is coated as you can see the sheen on the camera it is still going to have indentations or uh, have these little creasing lines I don't know if you can see it on the handles already I have plenty I've owned this bag for almost a year now but I don't use it like regularly I do use it a lot just not every every day type of use but you can see the creasing on the handles and on the side some as well so if that bothers you especially when it's raw like this then you might be kind of bothered by the fact that it will have imperfections or indentations creasings to the bag itself as you wear it on a long-term use so that really doesn't bother me because i feel like it gives the bag more characteristics as time goes by but for some people that does bother them and i just wanted to throw it in there so that you guys know if you are going to get this bag that is probably something that is going to happen the other con to this bag is that i like cross bodies i like bags that have straps so that that it's easier to carry so I can use my hands both of my hands whenever I need to in certain situations um, this bag is of course not like that it is more of a top handle you can actually put it on your arm and carry it like this for some time as well but of course you can't do that the whole way but if that is something that you are looking for a crossbody something for convenience this bag is probably not going to be the ideal type of bag for that it is more of a top handle dainty carrying around a type of bag so keep that in mind and lastly one other thing that could be a con is the silhouette itself of the bag how it is kind of rounder or more space in the middle and then it tapers on the side and because of the taper silhouette you lose a little bit of space so primarily if you look at the back like this you can see right now you are only able to put things in the middle compartment of the back right here and kind of just concentrate your things uh, essentials in there you can't really build a lot of other things or put a lot of things on the side because of the taper silhouette it limits the space capability of this bag so keep that in mind if that is something you're looking for something that has a lot of space then this is probably not the ideal bag for you because it is even though mid-size it's just mid-size in looks but probably equivalent to a smaller bag so with that being said i think that is everything i wanted to tell you about this bag if you have any questions for me link it down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for tuning